I will be honest, I have a problem. I can't stop myself feeling like I want to keep on going to new places, to give me the serotonin boost of seeing somewhere new for the first time, and admiring that moment as it will never be repeated again. I see the weekend approaching and no plans in sight. I'm tired of going to the same places over and over again, and even if I always end up finding a new comfort place I will end up visiting every single week, sometimes I just want to go somewhere else. And that is okay, I think. So I've gathered some places I've gone to in these past weeks, months maybe, and put them in a video together for you, just in case you might find my words relatable in any way. So anyways, here it is. Enjoy! My first stop was Treasure Hill Art Village. Although located just to walk away from Gongguan, it feels like you're immediately transported to the Taiwanese countryside, even if you're still in the city. The walk down there is really beautiful, surrounded by greenery the whole time. Once you get there, you get the vibe of a well-established community that has worked together to renovate the whole area and become the place it is today. How would I describe this village? Well, let's say this place is like linking history with art. As a former village for KMT military veterans, the area has become like an open air museum where art is present in every corner. Painted murals, art installations, mixed with the sense that you've been brought back to the past. For a more adventurous activity, hiking around Thousand Island Lake might be the perfect plan for you. I have to say, we really took the most challenging route and it ended up being a crazy experience. But there are other ways that are more family friendly if you just want to go for the views. In our case, we didn't go for the views, but for the experience of doing wild camping and hiking in the middle of the literal jungle. So there we were with a bunch of strangers who ended up being the most fun company for the trip and that made the whole experience unforgettable. I won't be repeating that hike anytime soon though, it really was so tiring, I can't even begin to explain. Hey, I don't really think it. Can you lift a little? Lift, uh, lift your ass. <laughs> 
You guys are matching. You both have both the red. Oh, red. I'm back to the city to the vibrant neighborhood of that town, more specifically to Tihua Street. This is one of the oldest streets of Taipei and you really can tell so as you step into it. Once again you're brought back to the past, in this case to the Taiwan of the 19th century, where you can appreciate the old buildings and shops that still sell to this day many traditional products such as dried foods, Chinese medicine or pottery. This area was the hub of Taipei at the time, part of the so-called Vanga, which is still is the name in Taiwanese for nearby neighborhood. It is usually not this packed though, I have to say. This was right before Lunar New Year, when thousands of people pay a visit to the street as a tradition and make all preparations for the new year. As a Spaniard, Hepin Island was very interesting for me to explore. It was right here where Spanish traders first established and built their first forts, controlling the northern part of Taiwan back in the 17th century. The island has a scenic coastal geopark where the rocks take very special shapes due to the sea erosion of its limestone created a landscape that is definitely worth seeing. We were not blessed with good weather that day, but still it was very special to explore Happen Island and the colorful jumping for color houses. The vibes were much more mysterious and definitely made our hot chocolate taste so much better when we reached that cozy cafe at the top of the island. Last but not least, the Pinsy Lantern Festival is something not to miss. It takes place every year right after Lunar New Year and you can even release your own lantern if you want to do so. We went only for the show though and it was definitely so magical to see the sky light up with all the New Year wishes. And so these are the things that we make a new step over the routine, sometimes to make life more exciting for a day. And even if I keep on craving going to new places all the time, I know that this video will help me appreciate those places that I've been to already and deserve going for a second, third or even fourth time.